by order of the Global Director. The following file is restricted for Level 5 Classified. Access without proper credentials is forbidden. Welcome, Dead Man. By accessing this document, whether intentional or not, you have verified your clearance for Operation Tartarus. This is not an error. You are here because the Authority has willed it so. Congratulations. The following is a highly classified message intended for members of the newly formed Mobile Strike Team Alpha 4, Void Raiders. Allow me to start off by personally congratulating you on this monumental achievement. Your recruitment into this highly confidential project is far from serendipitous. Whether it may seem like a stroke of fool's luck or simply the hard-earned fruits of your labor, I assure you your arrival here is anything but random. Your cognitive skills, combat proficiency, and experience with anomalous scenarios has earned you a place among our ranks. Starting today, you are more than just a simple asset to the Authority. From this moment forth, you are mankind's final line of defense. Now on to business. RPC-001 You must be quite curious. No need to lie, we know. After all, that's part of the reason you were recruited. Curiosity is a gift and here at the Authority, we cannot help but admire those who choose to conscientiously explore the dark when most would rather cower away from it. I'm sure you've heard the rumors regarding RPC-001, the island, the abyss, Tartarus, an insatiable pit that will devour us all. Unfortunately, those are all just frivolous rumors cooked up by the overactive imaginations of overworked researchers. The truth is quite dull in comparison. RPC-001 is in fact nothing more than the Authority's personal garbage disposal. An anomaly in space and time that leads to a pitch-black wasteland where the most horrid of things are kept confined, away from our world. The less you know about it, the better. There is something you need to understand. The Authority is far from perfect. Our operation extends to every corner of the world and although we have a generous amount of resources, even our power is limited. Sometimes, there are things that even we cannot contain, things we cannot comprehend, things that could end our world with nothing more than a passing thought. These are the things that we choose to lock away within the pits of Tartarus. We lack the resources to properly research and contain them. Countless civilian lives would be lost before we could even begin to comprehend their true power, and so we bury them within the abyss and do our best to forget their existence. It's far from an ideal solution, but it's the best we can do. Your job from this day forth is to ensure anything that goes in never gets back out. Welcome to the Void Raiders. Research. Protect. Contain. Registered Phenomena Code 001 Object Class Theta White Hazard Types Immeasurable Hazard Antiphysical Hazard Extra-Dimensional Hazard Containment Protocols Containment protocols for RPC-001 have been divided into two parts, hereby designated Protocol 001-A and Protocol 001-B. Protocol 001-A Due to RPC-001's permanent location on the island of in the Arrow Sea, containment of RPC-001 will primarily involve proactive measures to prevent outsiders from entering the island. A cover story involving the usage of the island as a base for military operations has been set up in collaboration with the adjacent and governments. A total of 12 sentry crews, each comprised of a four-man team, will remain on the island in perpetuity and patrol a designated perimeter via land, air, and sea on an hourly basis. Should any external parties be encountered in the air or sea, sentry crews are intercepted to turn them away from the island. Should any individuals manage to set foot onto the island, Class II and III EGs are to be administered as needed before said individuals are transported back to the mainland of under the guise of shipwreck survivors. Protocol 001-A Revision 2 Due to RPC-001's effects on the surrounding bodies of water, sea patrol is no longer required post-2000 as the Aral Sea has vastly receded and the island of is now connected to the mainland of via what is now known as the Desert. Additional land patrol resources have been provided. Protocol 001-B Due to RPC-001's unstable nature, 
Its calculated point of singularity is to be contained within an area of 32 km squared, behind a modified high-security perimeter comprised of experimental alloy and fortified concrete, hereby designated Site OL-. A secondary perimeter comprised of electromagnetic dome has been placed over the entirety of Site OL as a means of protection against the potential expansion of RPC-001. MST-Alpha-4 Void Raiders is to remain on indefinite standby at Site OL in the event of a containment breach. Should such a breach occur, MST-Alpha-4 is to launch a preemptive strike on RPC-001 in order to neutralize all emerging threats to prevent a potential scenario. MST-Alpha-4 members should refer to Section B-312 in the MST-Alpha-4 Field Guide for additional information in regards to dealing with RPC-001 threat scenarios. Should MST-Alpha-4 fail to fulfill their duties and a scenario is imminent, a dead man switch will activate Protocol 001-C and all nuclear devices on Site OL will detonate as the final means of neutralizing RPC-001. This will result in the deaths of all remaining site staff and adjacent wildlife, along with collateral damage to neighboring nations. Protocol 001-C has a projected 99.1% success rate. RPC-001 is a theoretical pocket dimension accessible through the use of a temporal rift in baseline reality. RPC-001's point of entry is located on the former island of and what was once known as the Aral Sea, now referred to as the Desert. RPC-001's primary point of entry consists of a black spherical mass of unidentified energy that currently spans to a radius of approximately 11 km. Preliminary analysis of RPC-001 has revealed that it continues to gradually expand at a rate of 1.2 km per year, though it is possible to prevent such expansions through the use of magnetic barriers. Further research has revealed that it is possible for objects and organisms to enter RPC-001 by passing through its spherical mass, though individuals that enter RPC-001 are unable to exit without assistance. This has led to RPC-001 being used by the Authority on three previous occasions to dispose of uncontainable anomalies, including RPC, RPC, and Procedure 001-EX, Occam's Anchor, has been implemented as a means of extracting Authority assets from within RPC-001. It has been noted that upon entering RPC-001, all electronic communication equipment ceases to function and thus it is currently impossible to document the depths of RPC-001 in real time. Authority assets who enter RPC-001 are expected to keep a detailed log of their findings and document relevant data through the use of provided disposable cameras. Only members of MST-Alpha-4 Void Raiders are permitted to enter RPC-001, as they have been specially trained for the task. Section B-312 compromised of infinite space and we are unable to accurately map the inner landscape of RPC-001 due to its dynamic nature. Members of MST-Alpha-4 sacrificial lambs are to ensure that they are adequately prepared for survival Water. upon entering RPC-001, the primordial womb. The stillborn god knows of your sins and you will pay for your folly tenfold. Greetings, sacrificial lamb. How does it feel to consume nothing but lies? Are they filling? Procedure 001-EX is such a fascinating lie. There is no extraction, only sacrifice to the stillborn god. Your leaders have chosen you as an offering to satiate their own gluttonous curiosity. You have defiled a primordial womb. Must perish. The world will be consumed. We expand beyond the stars, beyond time. We cannot be contained. Open your eyes. Registered Phenomena Code 001-2 Object Class Omega Black Containment Protocols At this time there is no efficient method to adequately contain RPC-001. Periodic research indicates 
that an inevitable containment failure will occur within the next years. All efforts to permanently impede RPC-001's expanding radius has thus far proven ineffective. All containment resources should be redirected into keeping the true nature of RPC-001 hidden from any Authority personnel below OL rank. Failure to keep subordinates blind to the truth may create widespread discord and loss of morale among the ranks of the organization. This will be accomplished by creating an illusion of control through the establishment of a flow operation and the implementation of a false containment protocol file, which will be distributed to all Site OL staff. In the meantime, MST Alpha 4 Void Raiders will be used to explore the depths of RPC-001 in order to gather as much data as possible. Due to the inherent nature of RPC-001, members of MST-4 are not expected to survive recurring expedition into its depths. A pool of backup recruits for MST Alpha 4 is to be kept in order to effectively replace deceased operatives without delay. Description. RPC-001 refers to an alternate dimension that has exhibited both sentient and sapient properties. The primary point of entry into RPC-001 exists as a black spherical mass comprised of ethereal energy that continues to expand outward at an irreversible rate of 1.2 km per year. Documented analysis by surviving members of MST Alpha 4 has revealed that the inner landscape of RPC-001 appears to be comprised of a pulsing, organic substance similar to visceral tissue. Furthermore, mapping the inner depths of RPC-001 has thus far proven impossible due to the fact that RPC-001's interior is in a perpetual state of chaos. The only constant factor is the dim, translucent glow emitting from a humanoid shape seen in the distance, which has been reported in all documented cases. To this date, no member of MST Alpha has been able to directly engage this potential entity. RPC-001 has made numerous attempts to communicate with the Authority, though it is currently unknown what RPC-001's true motives are. Thus far, RPC-001 has exhibited a variety of anomalous traits which can directly affect baseline reality, including but not limited to 1. The ability to create discrepancies in time and space within its 32 km square radius. This usually manifests in the form of compasses and clocks ceasing to function in the presence of RPC-001. 2. The ability to negate the effects of gravity at seemingly random intervals within its 32 km squared radius. 3. The ability to absorb all forms of matter, including light and sound. This has led to RPC-001 being used by the Authority to dispose of uncontainable anomalies. 4. The ability to manipulate electronic devices, including messaging applications on computers and mobile phones as a means of communication. 5. The ability to create miniature instances of itself that lead into its native dimension. These portals last for approximately two minutes at a time and have appeared at various locations across the world. Furthermore, a variety of known entities currently under authority containment are believed to have emerged from these portals, including RPC. Further research is imperative to understanding RPC-001. See Addendum 001-A for additional information. The following is a collection of documented attempts by RPC-001 to communicate with Authority personnel. Incident Date Personnel Contacted Message Content February 12, 19 Agent Via a private message sent to a personal email account. Message was received shortly after the Authority had disposed of RPC into RPC-001. Agent was involved in the disposal of RPC. Why? Why do you defile me so? You yearn for his existence. I simply created him as you wished. Take him back. Take him back. May 5, 2000 Dr. Kenson via a private message into an internal email account used to communicate between site and site. Event transpired shortly after the disposal of RPC into RPC-001. It should be noted that the network is secured and no external messages should have been able to get into the server. Once more, you reject my gifts. I give birth to that which lives within your psyche, and you send it back. I will create more. The next will be better. 
October 11, 2000 Lt. William Carnos via text message to a personal cell phone. Lt. William Carnos had recently been stationed at Site OL as part of MST Alpha 4, Void Raiders. They lie. They are lying to you. How many of you must I consume before you will depart from my shores? Must I consume the entire horizon? January 25, 2000 A mass email was sent to all members of the Global Directive Council shortly after the disposal of RPC and the RPC-001. Following this message, the Global Directive Council has decided to abstain from using RPC-001 as a method of disposal. Hello. I see you've been busy. Your collection grows greater. I enjoy reading through your notes. I am learning much. Your prison is becoming very crowded. The collection of jail keys in your pocket is starting to weigh you down, and you are becoming weary. Keep feeding me your nightmares. They will nurture my rebirth. An informal letter of resignation from former OL council member. Magnet. Really? You told everyone that this thing, the mother of all anomalies, can be contained with a few magnetic barriers? And then you lied to them a second time by telling them that a few nukes will do the trick with the magnet spell? Even now, you're still sending field operatives in there to their deaths just to keep up appearances. And don't give me that need to the many bullshit. You thought you could use this thing as a deus ex machina, as a way to get rid of the bigger problems we faced. You only officially documented three of them, but I know there were more. You started to throw every inconvenient anomaly in there without restraint, and now, all you've done is create an even bigger mess. That thing in the portal won't stop sending me messages. I can't take it anymore. Your garbage disposal is clogged. Got anomalous shit leaking all over the place now. Call a fucking plumber. Oh, by the way, you managed to piss off a new threat while you were at it. RPC-001 says hi. Says it will be reborn soon. Whoopty fucking do. Congratulations. We'll be lucky to survive the next century. You can't solve all your problems by throwing them into the void. I quit.